Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to another video. Today we're going to start with the Hyatt Toys 112th Exquisite line of John Rambo. Now, I'm excited. Went by the nickname Rambo when I was a, a younger, a younger, younger person. But I am excited because the Rambo line now try it, it helps me complete my 80s hero uh, dream of having Rambo versus Terminator versus whatever Robocop. I would just, I was like, man, one day we need to have a cool crossover movie with the bros. But yes. Here we are with Hyatt Toys doing the Rambo line. Now, what's crazy is how good this sculpt is. Also, one thing I want to talk about is that in the renders, it looked like it was a single joint, but it is not. It is a double joint, and it looks utterly fantastic. I was worried about that, but my worries right out the box were... I'm, I'm very happy now. <laughs> I am. I'm also going to experiment with taking off the poncho so we can have, which I believe is a topless or a tank top Rambo. Now, one of the other cool things is that we have a cool bandana and it's actually cloth throughout the scope there and it's all one piece in the head so you can't swap it but it's cool to see that and I'm, I'm very excited to see how this kind of stacks up i went straight out of the box i opened up everything i didn't play with anything so we'll be doing that all on camera and right out the gate one of the cool things is that we're gonna we have a strong arm like i've noticed so like i said double joint it we have bicep swivel right seems to be a butterfly joint in there how that works out, we're gonna see once we take off the poncho in a little bit, right? But we can hit a T-pose, which is very important to me. I've also noticed that when I pull the neck up, it looks like a soft rubber neck overlay. So that means hopefully the torso is a torso is also an overlay. But yeah, we're looking real nice right now. I like that. As far as our ab crunch goes, it looks like that soft rubber overlay is gonna allow you to bend over over so slightly, but not a whole lot. But we're going to test that even more later. We can remove this. We'll see our pants have a belt. Our legs can go lit with. Yeah, it can go a little under 90 degrees. There is a thigh swivel. We do have a double joint. And despite not looking it, there are soft boots that will allow for ankle articulation. So they did think of that, right? It seems a little soft, so you have to be careful with that. So when you're posing it up, it may get a little soft to the point where it may not hold up. So I do say that you should be careful. Now, let's actually test a little bit of it. Oh, no, looks like it's holding. You just have to find the right pressure point. So that's actually pretty nice. So as you can see here, I can pose the guy pretty nicely. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, this is nice. So my man can hit the Mortal Kombat 11 poses. That were very important <laughs> in case you want to do your crossover stuff. It's actually really nice to have that. Now, that being said though, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to aim to take off the poncho off screen. Don't want all the crackly noises because this seems to be a little soft wired. Yeah, and we're gonna just remove our string and start from scratch. So I'll see you guys in a sec. All right, now that we have the boss on cloth, it's just a nice overlay here. Let's get some focus on that. Well, not nice textures and weathering, which I'm gonna enjoy. You can obviously string it back up so it easily comes off. We're gonna leave that back there, but the boss is looking real nice here. I love it. We have our musculatory design. It looks like he's a super oily 80s style because of that rubber overlay. And I kind of feel like that fits for the style of what you wanted for John Rambo. Like, like that looks really, really nice. It's musculatory all the way throughout. Really nice setting for him. Now, with the turn of our except, oh, actually we have a place for our knife as well. And I think those are real pockets. Let's actually, we know we don't actually put the hands in the pocket, but let's see if we can tuck them. Yep. So you can tuck your hands in your pocket, right? It looks actually pretty cool. So let's back them on up like a U-Haul truck. Let's leave him right there as we discuss, right, our accessories. One of those things are going to be our alternative sculpts. So here we have in what I believe to be one of the best Stallone sculpts there are, because there aren't many out. This looks really fantastic. Like I said, bandana is still throughout the head and it's like soft goods here, but it's not wired, but it is soft goods there. Then we have our bloody yelling sculpt. I'm not sure what kind of tech they use, but this is like, for their first go, this is really, really good, right? Even the painted on five o'clock shadow, <laughs> for that movie magic. Next up, we have a nice bit of accessories. So let's go through this as well. Let's actually open this up. Make sure I don't pop all the hands out simultaneously as we aim to not do that. Let me bring it on over. It's 
crazy too, man. We got so many Rambo movies. Now, we have a nice set of hands. So we have item holding hands. We have spear holding hands. We have only the right trigger hands. We have three styles of trigger hands. Ooh. And then we have our spear holding hand, as well as a few other things. So it seems like they give, oh, I see now. So with a few of our item holding hands, let's change our focus. One is more open and one is closed. That way you do have the best type of hands for each. So that way you could be careful. We already had the spear holding hand and this is probably gonna be our smallest item holding hand here. And that's probably gonna be for stuff like, oh, so as far as weapons go, we all know I'm terrible about weapons, but I do believe this is an M14. It does have a removable magazine. No effect part for the muzzle flare, so you'll have to use something else. We have a hunter's rifle, which looks probably like a, this is going to be a sniper. What kind it is, I don't know, but I knew it has a large scope, so I'm assuming this is a sniper rifle. Then we have our large caliber weapon, which I, this is the one I know from the movie. This is our large caliber machine gun. It has a bipod. Ooh. Let's try to see what I did there. Okay, it pops out easily, but easily fixable because I applied a little too much pressure. But our bipod rolls out very easily. The magazine, uh, the belt feed is not in, and that's because you will get an option of a long belt feed. You can plug in like this and have him hold it in his hand just like in the movie. Or you will get a smaller one, which is right here, for a smaller belt feed. So it's pretty nice that they included both. You'll also get a radio. You'll get the classic hunting knife. This one is really important because everyone knows John Rambo has a really big knife. So let's actually just check it out. See about it being stashed in its sheath here. Yep. It sheathes really well. So we can leave that there like that. Last but not least, we will have our spear. And the spear allows us for the bandolier piece. If I remember correctly, we're going to attach one side into the other in our directions. I'm gonna double check that as we go along. All right, let's take our knife. Yep, just like it said in the instructions. So I probably have the wrong side, so let's actually double check that. I believe it's supposed to point through the other end. Yeah, I did it wrong. So let's put the plug in through here. Then we get the plug it in directly here or through the other side. There we go. There we go. So yeah, get ready for those guerrilla warfare tactics. I'm gonna leave that like that. A couple other things I wanna show is that we do have the ammo belts of various sizes. So you can do cross bandolier, we can go over the shoulder and you actually have two smaller ones. So you get two large and two small. It's pretty nice. I like that they included all of those options. One other thing that Haya does a little different is that they give you a storage port. So a little storage stand. So if you wanna store everything in here, you'll get a nice little storage here for that. You can just put it on the stand when you're done or you can swap it out and use the regular stand that they have. This one's actually pretty large, right? So yeah. With all of that being said, now we're gonna jump into the size comparison to see how Rambo stacks up. I'll see you guys in a second. All right, all right, all right, all right. Now we're on to the size comparison. This one's gonna be funny because I don't actually, I feel like I should do my 80s heroes first, which is hilarious to me, but we're in a great time where we can actually like get old properties, which are now old, 40 years ago now, and then we can do it up against characters like here is the Mafex Robocop. I feel like that's a fantastic size for it. Here is the Mafex T2 Terminator. And look at that. Just like that, we have Rambo, Robocop, Terminator. Great, great stuff. And then, right, we can take these guys away. And what's really cool is, depending on your interpretation of it, here is the Mezco Predator, right? Which I feel like is a perfect height with John Rambo. But if you want to get crazy big, right? We can do a NECA Predator as well. And I feel like these are excellent sizes for the two, depending on how you want to vary your, your action photos, which I'm pretty sure you'll have a good time doing, right? 
Then if you wanna go Mezco style in a smaller direction, here's my Mezco Ichigo on a Gomez body. And as you can see, he scales out really well with these type of characters. As far as stuff like Marvel Legends go, we're gonna choose the most humanoid Marvel Legend. Here is the Marvel Legends Winter Soldier. And as you can see, he's a little bit smaller than your domestic six inch, but when you compare it to some imports, as you saw earlier, he scales out pretty well. Uh, let's do a Moffix. And I just recently reviewed the Moffix Stealth Suit Captain America. So as you can see here, with other imports, he'll work out really well. And bonus, this one's for me personally. I just got in the albino veteran William and him crouched down. You can see he is gigantic compared to these guys. But imagine a werewolf versus Rambo. I just want to throw that out there because I would have a great time with them both fighting each other and then teaming up. Next up with some other domestic stuff. Here we are with a G.I. Joe classified Techno Viper. And again, it does work out with some domestics. And I have a Valibus figure here somewhere. Not sure where it went, but uh, they're a little bit taller, but I can't find. Oh, here it is. Here we are with a Valiverse domestic figure, in case you want to do more of that warfare stuff. And as you can see here, they do scale out really well, even with taking these guys away. Last but not least, we have SH figure arts, which, in case you didn't know, are usually the smallest online. And as you can see, they are here. But SHF has recently upscaled, so they might scale out well with newer releases. In the meantime, my first foray into the 112 scale higher stuff, very happy with what I got. I'm super happy to see what they do going forward. Super excited for the Judge Dredd, because I'm a big Judge Dredd fan. So that will add on even more to what I'm liking in this line. I hope you guys will enjoy the photos, because this one is a personal favorite of mine. I got a lot of personal attachment to this movie. And even though I can't remember it, vividly without watching it recently as a kid this movie was a crazy big deal like a bunch of other 80s movies like robocop so in the meantime shout out to Haya toys for sending this over shout out to you guys for supporting me to get to this point as usual and as always please be good do good drink your water guys later